I get asked many different questions about Indian clubs and one of the most common is which size Indian clubs should I buy first? To answer this question I have drawn on my personal experience and mistakes and I have put together this information to help you choose a pair of Indian clubs making sure that you have chosen the right pair of Indian clubs for you. The wrong selection will have a negative impact on your ability to swing clubs correctly. Here is a quick outline of how I got my first pair of Indian clubs. I found a book called Indian Clubs written by GTB Covet and A.F. Jenkin, which was published in 1905. The book contained a template for making Indian clubs. I decided to find a local woodturner to make me a pair. My first clubs were 26 inches long and weighed two and a half pounds each. Little did I know that I was embarking on a huge learning curve. I started to swing the clubs and made reasonable progress, but there was a problem, a big problem. I quickly discovered that my clubs were too long and too heavy. This meant that I had problems executing very basic movements, which is why it is so important for you to know which size Indian clubs you should buy first. Indian clubs are relatively lightweight as they are swung in both open and closed arm style. Clubs weighing one or two pounds each are heavy enough for you. Or clubs that weigh half or one kilo each are perfect. The ideal club length should be in the range of 15 to 20 inches long or 35 to 51 centimeters long, depending on the weight of the club. The choice of Indian clubs should be made regardless of your current strength and fitness. No matter what weights you currently squat, bench press or deadlift, no matter how incredibly flexible you are, Clubs weighing one or two pounds each are heavy enough for you. The choice of Indian clubs is dependent on your size and physique. Indian clubs form an extension of your arm by adding length and weight. They simply make your arms longer and heavier. Indian club swinging can be described as a circular weight training that exercises your shoulders, elbows, wrists and fingers in ways not possible with traditional linear resistance training and yoga. Indian clubs are con a conditioning and mobility tool that will complement your other training disciplines. Want more secrets about Indian clubs? You can download a free ebook copy of a guide to the anatomy of Indian clubs here. Now for some serious stuff. I'm talking existing injuries. Indian clubs can help, but if you have a shoulder injury, elbow injury or pain, wrist problems, back pain, if you suffer from any form of injury, then you must seek professional medical advice before using Indian clubs. Now, I get asked a lot about heavy clubs and when you can start using heavy clubs and there are certain things that you should know. Swinging heavy weights is not the prime objective of Indian clubs exercise. Are you thinking five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds? Don't be seduced into buying and using clubs that are too heavy for you as you may injure yourself as a result. So, it is not the exercise that will hurt you, it is the weight of the club. However, once you have mastered and perfected your technique with the lighter clubs, 
you can move to using heavier clubs weighing three pounds. And you will be surprised how demanding a three pounder can be. When you are ready to increase the weight of your clubs, do it in small increments. So, for example, if you started with a one pound club, then you would progress to one and a half pounds and then two pounds. If you started with a two pound club, then you would progress to two and a half pounds to three pounds. Or you can make bigger jumps by going from one pound to two pounds to three pounds or two pounds to three pounds. You can buy new, old and or antique Indian clubs to use for training. To help you, I have put together a list of Indian club manufacturers on my website. See the link below. Now, crash, knock, bang. Just be aware that you will probably crash and knock your clubs more than once. This happens to all of us, so don't get precious about your clubs. You should think of the dings and marks as a badge of honour. Now, again, do you want more secrets about Indian clubs? You can access free training for beginners where you will learn to swing a single Indian club routine. Please follow the link below. And also, read more and learn more. You can download a free ebook copy of a guide to the anatomy of Indian clubs here. Production was by Paul Taras Volkovinsky, Indian clubs and how to use them. Website www.indianclubs.com dot au and Indian Clubs Academy www.indianclubsacademy.com Thank you very much for watching.